Welcome back to another edition of Something to Brag About in the American Dream City. I'm Jeremy Thomas with the City of Arlington. Today we are talking with the fine folks at the Arlington Public Library about tomorrow's Black History Month Festival that's taking place at the Southeast Branch that's happening at noon tomorrow. And joining us to talk about it and to give us a little more details, we have Mark Dellenbaugh, one of the librarians at the Arlington Public Library. Mark, we definitely appreciate you joining us today. Yeah, yeah, thanks so much for this opportunity. Um, last fall, um, Miranda Want, one of my colleagues and I learned that we were going to kind of take over uh, the planning and production of this festival. Uh, a librarian that had recently retired, uh, David Jackson had, uh, this would have been, I think the 14th annual Black History Month Festival uh, program that he pioneered. And we took it over this year and it's been a learning experience, um, but it's outstanding uh, the way it's come together and we, we can't wait for tomorrow. And this is a culmination of what's been going on with the Arlington Public Library this entire month. With that being yeah. said, what can folks expect for tomorrow's event? Yeah, sure. So uh, let me first address the, the first part of that, because this is one of the changes that uh, we kind of looked at each other in, in the fall and said, well, I guess this is our baby. Let's, what, what do we want to do with it? And one of the things is we'd, we'd always, uh, no disrespect to, to David, but we'd, we'd always called this a Black History Month festival and it nearly all happened on one day. And we were thinking, well, why don't we take the word month seriously? And uh, so we've had events from uh, the, the beginning of the month until now. Um, UTA professor Kenton Ramsey gave a talk on reading Jay-Z. Uh, we've had uh, book talks on anti-racism, um, measuring the influence of BLM protests. Um, we had an African American genealogy research class last month, uh, last week. Um, family story times, and all of the buildings have had uh, Black History Month related displays, and so forth. And then uh, and, and the other change uh, this year, we also uh, it's kind of inspired by a science fiction writer, African American named uh, N.K. Jemison, who asked, "So when is Black Futures Month?" And so one of the things that we've done throughout is to weave in aspects of, it's not only important to know where you came from, but it's a trajectory, so where are you going? So we've had some uh, panels on STEM careers with black professionals and podcasts on Afrofuturism and so forth. And so all of this is kind of leading up to tomorrow. Um, it uh, starts at noon. Um, the uh, city council member uh, Hunter is going to give uh, kind of some opening remarks, and then we'll transition to a uh, uh, very fiery speaker. You'll you won't uh, won't believe your ears. Um, I'm sorry, Chaplain, if I'm overselling you, but uh, Chaplain Rich Stoglin, uh, former Marine Chaplain, um, and he is a member of the Arlington uh, Heritage Memorial Grounds Committee that's restoring some cemeteries, um, including the only place in Arlington that black folks could be buried until about 1950. And a uh, lot of uh, historical uh, significance there. And he's gonna be talking about that work and, and turning the corner to what, what they'll be doing going forward. Uh, then there'll be uh, a bunch of performances. Uh, so uh, step-by-step -step Academy, we'll have a jazz, uh, a jazz performance. Butler Elementary, Amos Elementary uh, will be doing choir performances. And then we're going to cap the day off with a sneak peek of a very exciting documentary called Echoes from the Hill that the MLK Celebration Committee has uh, funded. And I had the privilege of helping to research a little bit. And um, this is basically telling the story of um, what it was like to be uh, person of color in Arlington before desegregation. So what, what's it like to live across the street from a high school that you can't go to? Uh, if you wanna to go to high school, find a way to get to I.M. Terrell in Fort Worth. And uh, this was on the basis of uh, some oral histories that, that we took and some interviews and uh, some research. And it's a fantastic, um, fantastic documentary. We've got the, um, got the director's cut um, sneak preview that we'll be showing at the end of this. So couldn't be more excited about, about the day on Saturday. Um, it, it, technically it's come and go. 
Um, so if part of that resonates with you, then uh, jump in and jump out. Uh, but I think most people will find something to enjoy throughout. For this event, is this a free event folks can attend? Yes. Um, so uh, public is actually our middle name, but our middle name could be free uh, because we're, we're all about free. Um, so there's no, uh, no cost to attend. Uh, the only cost is a little bit of your time on a Saturday, but you're not doing anything better tomorrow between 12 and 3, I'm sure. You probably have to do laundry or something boring like that. So come on down to the library and, and uh, learn about your past, learn about the future, and uh, see uh, kids that are excitedly performing and, and so forth. Yeah, it's going to be outstanding. In the Southeast Branch, that is at 900 Southeast Green Oaks Boulevard, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So we've got a couple of, of libraries on Green Oaks, and so it, it can be confusing. This is the one that's across the street from the Animal Services Center and just south of the airport. So between Matlock and 360 on Green Oaks. Why is this event so important to have in our community within the American Dream City? Yeah, so you can't tell the story of Arlington without telling the story of all of Arlington's people. And um, through the years, um, you know, for, for a variety of reasons, uh, the story of Arlington has been told by white people for white people. And um, there are some notable exceptions to that, but in, in general, uh, it's important whether you are black or Hispanic or of uh, Middle Eastern descent or Southeast Asian descent or Caucasian, you can't really understand what the American dream city is if you un only understand one slice of it. Um, it, it. It works when it all works together. And so uh, I, I could talk on that for 45 minutes, but that, that's the, the quick version. Of it. So Black History Month Festival is taking place tomorrow, starting at noon at the Southeast Branch Library. Mark, we definitely appreciate your time sharing this with us and letting the folks know to come on out. It's going to be an amazing event. Yeah, and, and we anticipate next year having the same approach of having events throughout the month. So if you historically you've thought, oh, the library does something at the end of February, uh, start looking in January and uh, so you can catch the whole month's worth of stuff. Awesome. Mark, again, thank you so much for your time. We definitely appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. My, my uh, pleasure and my honor. Of course, if you have something to brag about in the American Dream City, please let us know in the comment section. Till next time, have a great day.